Welcome back to Paternal Class, where I thank you guys for tuning in. Now we're going to talk about more of the NBA topics and storylines that happen in the NBA world, especially for the Toronto Raptors, our very own Raptors squad. They just clinched the Eastern Conference, uh, the whole conference, basically, and they're, they're the first team to do so. Uh, Mr. Marky Mark, what do you think about the whole season so far and with Toronto Raptors being the first team in the NBA to actually clinch a playoff spot this season? Well, in, in what's up in the NBA, like I mentioned to you guys, uh, the Raptors has been, you know, under, not underrated, but just been under the radar in terms of um, their success this year. It's been overwhelmed by a lot of dramas that's happening in the NBA, especially with, you know, the LeBron, uh, just the whole Cavalier team in general, and then the Thunder and the, Ro and the Rockets and, and the, the Warriors. This is, you know, all these stories and Blake Griffin getting traded, all these dramas just covered, you know, has just been so overwhelming that it covered the fact that Raptors have just been playing their best basketball in their franchise, you know, history. And so my, my question to you guys is in terms of their success and the fact that they've clinched the playoff in, you know, fashionably a really good win over Detroit. Um, do you think this is the year for the Raptors? Do you think this is the year that they're going to play their best basketball and go for the furthest in terms of their playoff, um, playoff history and playoff? Because um, the past few years hasn't been, you know, as great as we all want it to be. Mm -hmm. We want to see, you know, is this the year for them? Franz, what do you, what do you think? Um, in my opinion, uh, it still depends on the playoffs because it's whole, you know, it's a different level of play. You know, it's, uh, players take it more seriously. Um, I mean, two years ago, that's probably the best, you know, um, playoffs that we ever had. Uh, this year, they have a chance because, you know, Cleveland is struggling. Boston uh, Raptors is able to beat. So... The best thing the Raptors can do is just, you know, prove everybody wrong. Uh, until now, I still have my doubts because, um, like I said, playoffs is a different ball game. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, like, we have to see with what, how many games have left to, you know, make it continue their uh, clinching season. Um, they still have to face Boston again a few more times, and especially Cleveland. Cleveland's new team, like I said before in the past few episodes, it, it's going to be another test that Cleveland and Raptors face each other, Boston and, and Raptors, and also playoffs. Is, it is a different animal. Uh, one thing that you know, we'll definitely see is DeMar DeRozan being, he'll ball out. But we have to see if Kyle Lowry can take his game to another level and actually perform during the playoffs. What about uh, DeMar DeRozan's play this whole season so far? Um, for sure, everyone's going to, you know, everyone has agreed so far that he's going to have at least a couple, uh, you know, a couple of ballots of his name under the MVP ladder. What do you see? How do you see? Uh, where do you see DeMar DeRozan in terms of the MVP ladder right now? What are, you know, what are your ranking in terms of, you know, who's your top, Ooh. second, third? Like, where do you see DeMar DeRozan right now? Uh, I'd say, let's say top five. Top five. Uh, number one is Harden, obviously. And then uh, second would be maybe LeBron or Durant. Um, and the others would be, who else? Uh, Damon Lillard's really playing really nice. Uh, and uh, Anthony Davis currently. Um, uh, so that would be pretty much my top five, I'd say. Yeah, DeMar DeRozan is, is definitely in that conversation, but he has to prove a lot, of, a lot of more throughout the next few games because James Harden is leading the pack in every single leaderboard. Um, but he is definitely in the conversation, which is nice to see that he, DeMar DeRozan has been being recognized from what he's been doing this season and not just this season, but like these past few seasons, his growth and his ability to change his game through the new culture change from scoring, passing out the ball. Like we saw in the Detroit game, he had three defenders on him. Usually when he was at like... He would have driven that. They would have just go, go all the way. Just take it in, yeah. But he definitely passed. He passed out of Fred Van Vliet for the, for the two and they, it was like that game winner. So yeah. it's that change in mentality that you know, take his game, DeMar DeRozan's game, to another level. What's been impressive so far, too, is that um, if people have noticed, is that a lot of, you know, U.S.-based shows and talk and, and sports analysts have really started mentioning the Raptors and DeMar DeRozan. Like Charles Barkley recently just mentioned how good it's been. Uh, DeMar DeRozan has been. You know, Stephen A. Smith's been all around, you know, all about the Raptors, you know, in terms of their impressive play. Uh, Colin Hurd as well has been, you know, I know he's not, you know, he's more of like a bigger general stories of the NBA, but he's mentioned Raptors quite a few times too. And, and, and really, the, the Raptors has just, you know, have transformed the culture in terms of how U.S. How US teams have viewed them, how U.S. sports analysts and U.S. You know, talk shows 
basketball talk shows have, you know, really s spoken in terms of what the Raptors is all about because years before then, they've always thought the Raptors was a joke. Mm -hmm. like nobody took the Raptors seriously in terms of really making a playoff in the first place when we did that. And, and even, you know, being in contention, being the name in terms of a favorite team to come out of the East. So that's something that I've been really impressed because I, I watch a lot of these sports, yeah. uh, sports talk shows and all these, you know, podcasts. And now the Raptors' name is just spurring out, not just the Raptors' name, but, you know, Coach Casey and, and uh, the work that Masai Ujiri has been doing for the Raptors and the culture change that uh, DeMar and, 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 you know, the, the rookies and the sophomores like Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Fleet, like you mentioned, Hurdle and, and all these, you know, players that are just gelled together so well. And I'm glad that they didn't do anything in terms of changing the, um, yeah. the lineup or making any signings mm -hmm. because I think this has been the best team I've seen Raptors played in. Like, that's something to say in terms of the growth that they've had over the past few years. I just want to add to that in, about the ESPN and, like, the U.S. market. They've, the Toronto Raptors had, like, three ESPN games, including the Detroit Pistons game a few nights ago. And they won all three of them. They blow out the Cavs, the Cavaliers, and then they won against Wizards, and then they beat the Detroit Pistons. It's not just about, you know, as you said, it, it, like they're changing the mentality of what U.S. analysis personalities are thinking about the Toronto Raptors. But I, I, for me, I think it's more of the U.S. fans, the fans of the sport of basketball. They, and then people recognize, Americans recognize that, okay, the Toronto Raptors are a really good team. They're, they're going to be a, a dominant team throughout the whole playoffs. And throughout this whole season. And that's why I think even uh, at the end, if I look at it all, MVP ladder in terms of where I see the Rosen, I actually see him as a top three. I see Harden, mm -hmm. uh, I see Harden, LeBron, and the Rosen as a top three mm -hmm. because just because of the fact that um, you, can't, you can't knock the fact that they're first in the East. They're better than the Boston Celtics. They're better than the Wizards. They're better than the Cavs record. They're better than you know, the Milwaukee Boxers. Everyone's been eyeing on Giannis being an MVP this year. Take a look at the Rosen's numbers. Take a look at what he's been able to do for the Raptors, putting them at the first place. In, I know everybody's saying that East is a joke, but these are tough teams. These are tough sure. teams to beat. Like, you know, Boston's been good this year. And, and the fact that uh, the Rosen is doing it, not just the offensive side, his growth, you know, shooting the three and having, you know, the playmaking duty uh, as well and, you know, helping everybody get better. Like, the um, JV's numbers are better this year. And, and Ibaka, is, you know, they've helped him, you know, uh, get accustomed and, and accumulate into the team and play his role, which is being a stretch forward, being that defensive specialist. And I think DeRozan was the main reason because he was able to adapt and change his game and improve his game throughout mm -hmm. the summer. Uh, one last thing before we end this segment. Um, fans, how deep do you think the Raptors can make it to the playoffs? Um, hopefully they'll make it to the finals. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say maybe they'll make it to back to the uh, Eastern finals. Uh, that would be my, you know, my best bet. Mark, you have any thoughts on that? I, I want to see them make the finals as well. I want to see them. I think this this is the perfect year if Cavs don't figure things out and if Boston, you know, your youth is uh, it's still something that is you know a question mark for them. So Raptors are the most sure thing in terms of the if I have them finals. So we'll I see. see them. Can't wait for the playoffs. It's just around the corner. Hopefully the Raptors can make a deeper run in the playoffs this year. But for now. We have to end the show. Fans, thank you for being here. Fans, where can I follow so you at? Uh, you can follow me at uh, F Manila and my Facebook's at uh, Fans Manila. And, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and don't forget, this Saturday, we have the Heritage Night, Raptors 905 at Mississauga at the Hershey Center. Definitely want you guys to come out and support the Raptors 905 and Rise Tribe. We'll be there, Mr. Marky Mark. Hopefully, PJ is going to be there as well. We'll be covering the game as well. So definitely tune in to our social media accounts at Pinor Costa or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Mr. Mark Martin, do you have anything else to say? All right. I just want you guys to, you know, continue supporting, you know, Filipino basketball and the, you know, Filipino community. We love basketball and we're here to keep, you know, putting more exposure and letting them know that, you know, we're legit. We're a legit community and that we want to talk about basketball all the time.